welcome back to Voyager. We were about to begin studying the device you recovered from Gaul's communication center. Since you have spearheaded much of our efforts here, I would like you to take the lead once again. Captain Kim and Seven of Nine are at your disposal. Talk with them if you need more help deciphering the device. When you finish your analysis, return to me for further orders. I will be here in the transporter room to see you off. Glad you're here. We transported the device to engineering here so we could run all the scans and tests we could think of. The first thing we need to do is determine how it's communicating. We can't find any normal transmissions from it, but we're hoping you have some new ideas to bring to the table. The device communicates with subspace. We should have guessed that. Now comes the hard part. We need to access the device's memory core. The engineering team here on Voyager is good, and I've heard your team is top notch, but it might take more time than we have for either team to make a full analysis. We should have both teams give you their opinions on the device. If we work together, hopefully we can make a breakthrough. You'll need to set switches on the device until we get solid readings. We'll be able to tell if switches are in the correct position, but not which switches. Good luck. The engineering teams tell me two of the switches are in the correct mode. Unfortunately, we don't... Sir, I've consulted with both the engineers here on Voyager and your chief engineer. I am seeing green across the board. All the switches are in the correct position, and we now have access to the primary memory core of the device. Unfortunately, we're only halfway there. Now we need to access the secondary memory core to get full access to the data we need. Looks like you did it again. All the switches are in the correct position, and we now have full access to the memory core of the device. Seven of Nine should be of assistance in accessing the memory banks of that device. She's in astrometrics, attempting to get a fix on the location of who or what is receiving these transmissions. We have access to the data banks of the device. Very efficient work. From the data we have received so far, we will be able to pinpoint the exact transmission coordinates. However, it is possible that doing so may alert whomever is on the other end that we have reverse engineered their technology. There are three likely ways to get at the information. 
I suggest further analysis to determine the best course of action. Fascinating. Excellent work. With this location, we may be able to finally reveal who gave the Vaudoir their advanced technology, and why the neural parasites appeared again in this time and place. Commander Jarak of the Romulan Republic has requested to join you on this operation. Her own analysis of the device has shown that the Romulans have had some contact with the creators of this device, a race known as the Elachi. She will meet you in subspace at the given coordinates. Finally, Voyager's emergency medical hologram, the Doctor, will be assigned to your crew. His knowledge of the Delta Quadrant races may prove invaluable. He's not much of a combatant, but should prove useful. Hello again. Jarak of the RRW Lisette. When we learned that the Alachi were involved, I requested to shadow you on this mission. I know you have experience dealing with the Alachi, and I thought you'd want some extra firepower. All right, we'll follow your lead here. We're seeing three patrol groups. Recommend we eliminate them before we board the station.
exactly play well with us. Another Alachi ship is here to defend the outpost. I was thinking we should split up and cover as much of the facility as we can, unless you have a better idea. This is obviously an Alachi facility. What I know about them comes from the Romulan Republic's databases, but I should be able to learn more as we examine this location. The air here is suitable for the Alachi, which means that you may find breathing difficult. I, of course, do not have that problem. If you have an environmental suit, or even some sort of rebreather, you will be fine. If you don't, keep an eye out for something that could help filter out the toxins.
are Solvenay tables. I read the way that you can use reports about them. gateway on New Romulus. The Solanae kidnap victims through subspace for their brutal experiments. If they are somehow connected to the Alachi and the Vodwar, this is beginning to make more sense. If I had to guess, there must be a stasis room nearby. We should find it and rescue anyone in there who can still be saved. It looks as if they are converting their captives into more Alachi. If my readings are correct, there are several individuals here who have only just begun the conversion process. We can save them if we beam them back to your ship. Transport the Stalaxian directly to sickbay.
You'll be back on duty before you know it. Want to be mum? Even the board won't assimilate the Kazon. Everything will be fine, Mr. Terrain. We'll beam you directly to Sigma. This is no way for a proud Klingon warrior to go out. We'll catch him up immediately. Found a breathing apparatus. That should take care of that nasty cough. We're transporting you to a Romulan ship in orbit. You're going to be fine. Hazari. Stay calm. We'll get you the medical attention you need. Well, the door is unlocked now. We should keep going.
prison break. Maybe I should go back to the ship. against an enemy we didn't even see.
Some of this technology is ancient, but it's quite advanced. at all. They look engineered. This is more like a factory than a laboratory. Maybe we should avoid any potential contact with the prisoner? I think I've seen enough combat for today. I knew my people would search for their empress. Has the Republic finally realized you need me? want me to leave.
Their tenacity is almost... admirable. Looks like you could use a hand. And now we have their leader's attention. for all the lives you've destroyed. And if you do, you'll never learn about the Iconians. I've been here for months. I've seen enough to know you need my help. Fine. You interrogate her. I might get a little carried away. But she returns with me to the Lisette when you're finished here. If the Federation or the KDF want to talk to her after that, they can go through official channels. She's no empress. She's a criminal. And she'll be treated as such. You and this Sela person seem to have some history. I'll leave you to speak to her. Somehow I knew you'd be the one to find me. Tiaru is... short-sighted. She'd kill me and lose all the secrets I know. Secrets I'm willing to share. If you keep her on her leash, you've stumbled into something much greater than you're prepared to handle. I'm the best ally you have. I assume you already know where you are. Both the Alachi and the Solene serve the Iconians. The Alachi are their warriors, and the Solene are their scientists. They're the ones who created those creatures implanted into the Baudoir. Hakib joined the Iconians out of faith. He thought the Iconians would create an empire he could rule. That did not go as planned. This time the Iconians wanted to control their puppets. When the Vaudoir asked for strength to defeat their enemies, the Iconians gave them the parasites. The Vaudoir had strength, but also strings. Strings that have now been cut. I'm sure you had something to do with that. All three of you working together? The world has changed in my absence. Or were the Vaudoir that much of a threat to the Alpha Quadrant? That explains some things. I'd love an escort back to the world at large, but I have a feeling you have some questions first. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. How important is that, really? I worked with the Iconians because, at the time, I thought it was the best thing for my people. After we lost the homeworld, we were scattered, starving, a shadow of what we once were. What were we supposed to do? Beg the Federation? Or the Klingons for scraps? Pathetic! The so-called Romulan Republic has made their way. But they did it at the cost of Romulan dignity. We are not refugees! We are Romulan! We needed a strong leader to bind us together again, and I knew I could be that leader. The Iconians were a means to an end. They gave us strength at a time when we were at our weakest. But I know what Hakiv, what he and the Iconians did to our world. Perhaps I would not have made the same decision. Dwelling on the past is meaningless. I am here, and so are you. 
Today, our goals are aligned. We both want to stop the Iconian advance. You need me. Do you think that makes my sacrifices any less? Do you believe I was not a true leader, an empress for the Romulan people, simply because of an accident of birth? Everything I did, everything I fought for, was for the way of Daera. So how much Romulan blood do I need to be Romulan? Is a single drop of human blood too much? As Empress, I guided the Empire through its greatest dangers. The Rihonsu have great passion. It gives them power. Power enough to seize their own destiny. But that destiny cannot be realized by bowing to politicians or debating endlessly in a mockery of democracy. Tom Cooper, we need reach far, grasp much. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. Hubris. The Iconians think they are the rulers of the galaxy. They thought so 200,000 years ago, when they were driven off their home world by the fire of a thousand races allied against them. They think so now, when they look at us and see us as children stumbling in the dark. They do not see our strength, our willingness to fight. Use their hubris against them, and the Iconians will fall. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. I honestly don't know. Why would they share their plans with a prisoner? That may make me less valuable in your eyes, but don't be fooled. I know more about the Iconians' operations than they realize. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. Ah, the crew. The Alachi took them one by one and turned them into those things. Revolting. If I had known that was what they were doing with the captives from the colonies, I would have... Yes, you were asking about the crew. A handful of us were still alive when the station went on alert. We took a chance and made our escape. They died, nobly, as Romulans protecting their empress. I will remember their sacrifice. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. Will I be taken into your custody? Or will I be left to Tiaru's tender mercies? Very well. It's not like I have a choice in the matter, do I? We have Empress Sila in our brig. When she was taken by the Iconians last year, many of my people thought she would get away with her heinous crimes against the galaxy. With her in my brig, I am happy to know that is no longer a possibility. Of course, I understand that the Romulan Republic's claim on her is not unique. Her crimes are against all of the Alpha Quadrant. To that end, I will ensure that she be made available to all the Alliance leaders for interrogation well, that wasn't exactly what I'd call a walk in the park. At least we know exactly how the Iconians were controlling the Vodwar. And you've certainly put a crimp in their plans. 
On the upside, as a photonic life form, I'm immune to any attempts at subversion by neural parasites. I'll see to the care of the captives we rescued. In the meantime, it sounds like you and the Romulan Republic Command have a lot to talk about. Sela certainly has a story to tell, but should we believe all of it? I'll put a bug in Admiral Janeway's ear about the situation. That was a joke, by the way. You're going to be busy. Don't overdo... Oh, who am I kidding? Command officers never take their doctor's advice. Just remember that you're not in this alone. Good luck. I suspect things are starting to get interesting. Thank you.